What's up guys, Freddy with Poor Man Mods here. Today we're gonna to be working on my friend's 92 Ranger with a five liter V8. We got an oil cooler kit from Max Speeding Rods. They sent us this kit so we can cool down the Ranger. This thing notoriously runs hot. Uh, it already has an upgraded radiator, but it just runs hot all the time and it doesn't have an oil cooler. So we're gonna put this oil cooler on and hopefully make it run a little bit cooler. The kit does look very nice. It comes with stainless steel braided AN hoses with an oil filter sandwich and and a very nice looking oil cooler. Now there's a couple different ways you can mount this. You could make brackets. There are provisions here to secure it with a bracket, but you could also use radiator zip ties. Uh, it did not come with those, uh, but I do have them. When we get to the truck, we're gonna determine how we're gonna mount it. But yeah, this looks like a pretty nice kit. It does not have a thermostat in this oil filter sandwich. So right off the bat, once the engine turns on, you will be flowing oil through the cooler. There is no thermostat, which I don't think that will be an issue with this truck because it needs all the cooling that it can get. So with that being said, let's get over to the truck, take it apart and get this thing installed. Well, oh. Oh, look at that. So this kit comes with the oil filter sandwich, which you can install on the engine block, between the engine block and the oil filter. But this truck, we have previously installed an oil filter relocation kit. So really that sandwich can go at the engine block, or it can probably go here at the relocation kit as well. We're gonna start off by installing the sandwich and the lines here at the oil filter relocation adapter. Um, if we find out we don't like the way the hoses route or whatnot, we might move it to the block. But we're gonna start off by putting the sandwich right here between the filter and the relocation adapter, and then run the lines up here, and then see where the oil cooler is gonna go. The oil filter sandwich comes with two plugs for these ports on the side of the sandwich. Before we install this, we're going to put some thread sealant on here and tighten these plugs up. We're not gonna be using these, but you can use these for like an oil pressure gauge or a turbo feed or temperature. So you have a couple different options, but we don't need these for right now. And we're also gonna just double check and make sure these are tight. They have O-rings on them. You don't need to make these Hulk tight, but we're just gonna check them and make sure they're snug. Which looks like it was a good thing. Yep. Yeah. How many Ugga Duggas is 12 foot pounds? <laughs> Half a Ugga. <laughs> this particular kit comes with two different adapters. Two of them. You have a three quarter by 16 and an M20 by one and a half. Since this is a Ferd uh, 302, it's a 90, so it's standard, not metric. We are using the three quarter by 16 adapter. That will go in the oil filter sandwich, just like this. And this will thread into our oil filter relocation adapter. And the oil filter will thread onto here. So let's go do that on the truck. Lefty, tighty, righty, loosey, right? Something like that. So we are going to basically put the 90s at the oil filter sandwich, run the lines down, and we're thinking about coming up here and mounting the cooler right in there. I think we should just put the cooler right there. I think we at least need a zip tie. <laughs> it won't be nothing to push 55, 60 mile an hour in this beast. <laughs> We're considering putting the cooler right there, and we have it duct taped in place to see if the grill will fit. Just wanna make sure there's clearance. Oh, 
Oh, we got days. Yeah, that's really nice. Sweet. I think we're going to use brackets to secure this. Um, one, one bracket is going to go from this bolt right here to here. So pretty much an L bracket, something similar. And on this side, we can either attach it down here or do an attachment point here. But uh, I'm going to go make some brackets and we'll be back with the final result. Okay, so here's what we have going on. We made an L bracket over here, bolted it to the factory bolt location there, and it comes down, and it's gonna secure to the cooler with one bolt there. And then over here, we have a bolt coming up, which I think we're gonna turn around and have the bolt go down, but we drilled a hole in the core support, and that will be our two mounting points, and the hoses will come up from the bottom. So we're gonna get this secured, and then hook up the lines. We have the cooler mounted. We got our L bracket right there. And all we did was put a bolt through the core support there. And so now we are probably going to unbolt the cooler and attach the lines and then reassemble it. But now it's in its home and it's looking pretty good. The kit comes with this blue sandwich thing that connects the two lines together. We're gonna bundle them together and then secure them up in here so they're not hanging down on the road. Switch that tight. Okay, I got the cooler mounted, ran the lines and got them secured down there. They're feeling pretty good. They're not hanging down. Last thing is installing the oil filter and then testing for leaks. We just got finished testing for leaks. It is very important to test for leaks because uh, we went to start it up and it leaked like a sieve. This fitting right here just wasn't tight enough. We thought it was, but apparently it wasn't. So we put a wrench on here to hold it to not over tighten this fitting, tighten that one down, and now it's good to go. It's leak free and looks awesome. And of course, it would not be complete without a poor man mod sticker. So we're gonna put the grill on and call this thing done. All right, got the Max Speeding Rods oil cooler installed on the Ranger. It fit flawlessly after we made up that one bracket. The only issue that we had with the whole kit was when we pulled the cooler out, one of the tabs was bent, which isn't a big deal. Other than that, it's a very high quality kit, especially considering the price. It fit the truck flawlessly and it's gonna run a lot cooler now. So I will have a link in the description to this oil cooler if you want one for yourself. I recommend that you go check it out. So big thanks to Max Speeding Rods for helping us out with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.